Here's a live look outside a rain soaked Wrigley Field. We are less than two weeks away from the Cubs home opener when the world champs take on the Dodgers, the team they beat in the NLCS. We're also counting down to tonight's annual toast to legendary announcer Harry Carey. CBS 2's Sandra Torres shows us why this year's party brings new meaning to being a part of the Cubs family. Yeah! You're not seeing double. These really are twins. At least 20 sets of twins, all Cubs fans, preparing for the annual toast to Harry Carey. Twinning is winning, and we're going to bring in wins for the Cubs, two wins for the Cubs. The Twin Fest was all part of this year's theme, Let's Win Two. Donna and Deborah dressed accordingly to join in on the fun. I'm from Gilbert, Arizona, and I decided to come because we love the Cubs and it was a great opportunity to get to see my twin sister. The most famous twins in the crowd, though, were the twin sons of the late Cubs Hall of Famer Ernie Banks. It's a lot to us. Um, you know, it's uh, history of the Cubs. Uh, Dad's always been a part of the city as well as the Cubs, so uh, we're, we're proud to be, to be part of that. Aside from toasting together, fans got to see new Cubs memorabilia at Harry Carey's. It was 1907, 1908, they won back-to-back -back World Series championships. And for the first time ever, we're displaying to the public together the 1907 and 1908 last out balls. A fun day ahead to get ready for the new baseball season. But to be a Cubs fan after the World Series, it's like going to heaven, tasting it for seven, getting sent back and saying, let's do another one, let's win two. And Cubs Hall of Famer Ryan Sandberg will be leading that toast at 6.30 tonight with a rendition of Harry's favorite song, Take Me Out to the Ball Game. Reporting from Harry Carey, Sandra Torres, CBS 2 News.